Some very sad news hit the internet this month with the passing of famed Hollywood actress Raquel Welch. Best known for donning a skimpy and iconic deerskin bikini in the 60s sci-fi film One Million Years BC, following that performance Raquel would go on to be recognized as the ultimate in sex icons. But it almost didn't happen that way at all. During what would turn out to be her very last public interview with the Sunday Post in 2019, Raquel recalls this about her pivotal breakthrough moment. I had been low profile before then. I had made another movie which was a big step up for me from very small parts. It was Fantastic Voyage and should have been released before 1 million years BC, but the special effects delayed it so I was the dinosaur lady first and the science lady second. Following that back to back punch, Raquel's profile blew sky high and she became one of the most sought after actresses in the industry throughout the 60s and 70s, taking home plenty of awards in the process, including a Golden Globe in 1974 for her work in The Three Musketeers. Even more impressively, Welch was named one of the 100 sexiest stars in film history by Empire Magazine in 1995, and was ranked number 3 in Playboy's list of the 100 sexiest stars of the 20th century. In these videos, we don't reveal any addresses, and even though I've done a house tour of my own place, please do not show up at any private residences because it's not safe for anyone. Having made her fortune out west in Los Angeles, it only made sense that when it came time for Raquel Welch to put down some roots, she made sure to make a home in the city that accepted her with open arms. One of the first properties we have on record as being owned by Raquel is a Beverly Hills address that she purchased in 1997 from redneck comedian Jeff Foxworthy. While the original property records are no longer around to tell us how much Raquel spent, it's estimated that she dropped somewhere around two $2 million on this 6,217 square foot beauty that originally came complete with five bedrooms and five bathrooms. About a year after buying this Mediterranean style villa, Raquel decided to set to work updating the space and renovated much of the entire home. When she was finished, it boasted an extra bedroom as well as three more bathrooms. It was also uniquely decorated, like in the living room where the leather couches were set with some sun umbrellas. Then there was the dining room, which was slathered in yellow paint and featured a centrally positioned table, big enough for six. The kitchen was redesigned with a healthy dose of stainless steel appliances and finished off with a marble countertops as well as a double wide prep island. As for the Starlet's primary suite, all we know for sure is that it contained a canopy bed, partnered with a leather reclining chair and a leopard printed rug underneath that would have been far more fashionable back in the 60s when Raquel was first making a name for herself. Of course, with this home being located in Beverly Hills, it also included an outdoor entertaining space, as well as a crystal clear in-ground pool. After living in this home for close to 10 years, Raquel decided to sell it in 2005 when she listed the home for $4.5 million and quickly found a buyer in reality television surgeon Dr. Robert Ray. Since moving out, Raquel's longtime home has undergone further renovations and has seen its overall size increase greatly yet again. Again, Day Raquel's former home is now 8,000 square feet large, with 10 bedrooms as well as 10 bathrooms. Its two-story entryway includes a wrought iron staircase and leads directly into the living room that boasts tile flooring, a gorgeous grand piano, elegant curtains, as well as a series of doors that lead to an outdoor terrace. As for the kitchen, all of the cabinets and even the central island have been totally redesigned to appear more modern and provide an optimum amount of space. The dining room has also expanded, going from a table large enough to seat six to one that's capable of seating eight. Better yet, gone is that yellow paint job, and replaced by some striking artwork and calm shades of cream. Then there's the primary suite, which is still looking a little sparse if you ask me, but at least that ugly reclining chair has been taken out. And over in the bathroom, you've now got a truly spectacular black marble soaking tub, as well as the perfect 
picked Vanity Mirror to apply makeup from. In fact, the only place that more or less looks the same is the outdoor entertainment area, which has been updated with trendier looking furniture, but that's about it. Rounding off the property is an attached guest house with a five car garage that has currently been converted into a gym, leaving enough parking for three vehicles. Oh, and there's also an elevator that connects both levels of the home that's been there since before Raquel moved in. I gotta be honest, as nice as the place generally looked when Raquel lived here, it looks a whole lot better now. Next, let's take a look at where Raquel spent the last few years of her life. Shortly before selling her original Beverly Hills abode, Raquel Welch found a new place to live in the same neighborhood, a house that would become her primary place of residence during the latter years of her life. While it's unclear exactly how much she spent on this multi-level beauty, it's believed to have been in the ballpark of around four to five million dollars. Sadly, Raquel never offered us a glimpse inside. In fact, during these latter years, Raquel became something of a recluse and she didn't spend much time out in public at all. Remember that interview I mentioned with the Sunday Post? Well, that would become the last times her fans ever heard from her before she briefly popped back up in 2022 during a trip to get her nails done in Beverly Hills. At that time, Raquel was 82 years old, but still rocking a classic look of a white top and black pants, as well as platform wedges paired with a couple stylish accessories in a straw hat and eyeglasses. Even as a senior citizen looking to avoid the public, she still had that extra something special that made her such a star. Unfortunately, that would be the last time any of us ever heard from Raquel. Half a year later, TMZ would be told by members of her family that Raquel Welch had passed on February 15th, 2023 after battling a brief illness. No other specifics surrounding her death have been revealed at this point in time, but I for one would like to give a shout out to one of the industry's biggest trailblazing pioneers who paved the way for all women who followed her in Hollywood. And in a sense, it's kind of a propos that a woman who meant so much to so many would spend her final years living so contently by herself. She once told Piers Morgan in 2015 about her living situation, I don't like to have a man because I'm very too set in my ways. I like what I do, I actually enjoy being me, and I make a very good living at it and I'm happy. Really, what more can any of us ask out of our lives? Raquel Welch was one of a kind and she will be missed, but she'll also always be celebrated for her incredible accomplishments. All right, everyone, thanks for watching this latest episode of House Tour, but before you head out, consider answering the following question. If you were an aging Hollywood star, would you stick close to home to remain out of sight or continue venturing out into public? Let me know if you would have spent your final few years in solitude like Raquel did in the comments down below. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and turn on those notifications. My name is Care the Vampire Slayer. Follow me on Instagram to chat more, and I'll see you all on the next tour. Bye!